everything comes with a price. Everything comes with a price, right? You you guys don't know. We don't know what is the price to be at that level, right? Mm-hmm. We don't know what is the price to be on that level of scrutiny, on that level I'm of gonna. No, I'm just kidding. of of uh, of Drake status. We just don't know. So I think it's very presumptive to assume that any critique of this is somehow coming from a negative place. Like, I have no animosity in my heart towards Drake. I really do pray for that dude, and I hope that that dude has some kind of awakening in the way we've seen some of these other guys have. I'm dis- Again, I'm just disappointed in the fact that we have a guy in his mid-30s who is glorifying stuff that he may or may not be doing. Whether it was, and, and Future's even worse. Like, Future flat out said he, he got clean and sober and kept, drink, and kept rapping about drinking lean. No, yeah, future is. He needs Jesus. He needs Jesus. That's what I keep telling myself every time I'm about to say something wild about somebody. I go, you know what? No, he don't got Jesus. He, that's what he needs. He doesn't need what I think he needs. Yeah, that's a fact. So all in all, guys, um, pray for these dudes. I I be praying for these guys. All in all, in in endorse every time. Listen, every time you do click on that, is a is a. Not only is it an endorsement and an enablement of that energy, right? And some of you guys may have not known. Now you know, right? Now we all know that in the middle of a chorus, that's a Nike commercial. That song is real. The video is really a Nike ad, right? That he's talking about this. Now you know. But every time you choose to click on that is a choice that you could be clicking on a John Keith record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look. Every time you think about listening to Drake, go like just this. listen to John Keith. Just go, just go like this. Should I listen to Drake? Yes, but instead, I'm going to go listen to this guy over here doing something way different that is way less successful. Let's get him to that point, huh? Let's do that. Hey, make me famous. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I'm way over and, and And in a, in a real real deal, like, guys, like, every John Keith pre-order, whether it's iTunes, is, like, literally, like, 10,000 streams to us. Like, like that is... I think it's 1,500 streams per sale or whatever. So just know that when you are buying these, that's what it comes out to. Um, It's like 1,500 to, I think, 3,000 streams every time you just buy something. And I'm not saying be irresponsible and, like, spend all your money. I'm saying, like, when we do cool stuff, like drop uh, 15 pieces of, excuse me, 25 pieces of vinyl, they're limited edition, they're personally signed, and they're 100 bucks a pop. That's an opportunity for you guys to endorse that with your dollars. And if you really care, like if we're really about this thing, we could be doing things like supporting the John Keiths, the No Big Deals, right? Dilly. The Rockstar JTs. Yeah, yeah, let me ask yeah. you let me ask you this last question and then I want you I want you to tell me what you think the, the future of Christian hip hop is. But before that, let me ask you this question. I think one of the lies we buy into is that rap is a meritocracy, meaning the people at the top are the best. Meritocracy. I know. I just said a big word. Meritocracy. Merit-based success. Meritocracy. Meritocracy. Meaning that people think because Drake is the most popular, that Drake is the best. Right? And I could name three or four artists that I think are better than Drake, right? Who make more consistently better music than Drake. Not, I'm not, I'm not saying Christian rappers. Like just artists that aren't as oh, big. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like I think John. <laughs> I think I think John Bellion makes better music than Drake. I think uh, Anime makes better music than Drake. I mean, pound, pound for pound. Yeah. Like I think if you listen to his records, they're catchier, they're more interesting, they're better arranged, right? And people think that, and that's that's up to subjective opinion, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But people think that rap is a meritocracy. People think that rap is whoever is at the top of the food chain is the best. And Drake can never bite Andy Minio in words played, because I mean, come on, he's Drake. Why would Drake ever need to bite up? Uh, neither here nor there about the biting. But you know as well as I know that there are people who have smaller audiences yeah. that make substantially better music. Yeah. And I don't want to compare apples to oranges and, and I name anybody, right? But you you just cracked 20,000 followers on Instagram. Talk different. Right? Talk different. 20K Keith. And you know that this anti-hero album is better than a lot of the other stuff that's out there. Oh, talk, for talk sure about skis. it. For sure skis. I mean, like, you know, I, I don't know. I, that's definitely true. Meritocracy. Meritocracy. So good. That's definitely true. I never thought about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the people, like, the higher up that you, I mean, like, to, I don't want to drop names. I mean, like, 
And of course, it all is subjective. Right. It's all the people's preference and palette. I think I make better music than NF. I personally do. I think oh, explosion sounds. that I make better music than NF. That's not because I'm like, oh, I'm just doper. But yeah. I think that there's more variety, and I think yes. that it does different things. Yes. And that's my personal opinion. That I doesn't agree. Mean, I would that agree doesn't that mean opinion. that I'm like, oh, John Keats just loves himself when he's freaking full of... No, nah, I don't think that. I think a lot of my friends yep. make better... I think that Acosto makes better music yep. Yep. than NF. But because NF is NF, people are going to go, oh, man, NF is the guy. Yeah. Yo, NF is the... Oh, and it's like, yo, he, nobody could ever... To, just to take it down a level from... You know what I'm saying? Or a... Uh, a lot of levels from like uh, Drake. Yeah. You know, the NF is not at Drake's level. Mm -hmm. He's higher than our circle, mm -hmm. but he's closer to it because yes. he used to be in it. Yes. I don't yes. think NF makes exceptional music. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I would agree. And shout out to Sean Stream. He said, Content is king, but marketing is queen, and she runs the household. That's a bar right mm. there, right? Where the marketing of a product, right? NF is. Makes good music, but it's the marketing yeah. packaged around it, right? Branding, understanding your community, 100%. So it's the marketing and the ability that they were able to package around it. Same thing with Drake, right? So how how we level the playing field is in marketing and telling these stories and creating ways to hopefully level uh, some of it. And I think it gets easier and easier and easier with technology. I think it gets easier yeah. and easier with information. So I think you're right. You know what I mean? So yeah, again, shout out to, um, to to Think Media. I just talked to Sean not too long ago. That is for sure a thing. So I just don't want you guys to assume that because something is popular that it's the best. It's That's just not true, right? That's just not true. And there's multiple examples that we could point to of that. And you guys may think I'm wild and I'm not, I'm not going to say this because I, I, I'm saying it on a universal statement, but I think right now, CHH, Christian hip hop, when you factor in all of the variables that we have, all the different players that we have, I think it's an amazing spot creatively. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And I think there's a lot of talent. And again, my heart for everybody would be, hey guys, dig a little deeper and turn off, turn off whoever's popping. You know, and dig a little deeper and build a, a sound, a unique sound that's unique to you, to you. And whether or not that sound is good or bad is going to be subjective. But this is why I love a guy like Toby Wigway, because I don't necessarily ride to his music. Right. Like I don't I've never listened to a Toby Wigway album, but at least he's went out and built a unique sound. Right? Do you see that as a future for Christian hip hop? Like, we know the talent is here. We know that when you compare, like, let's just say the top five talented artists in Christian hip hop, it's up there, right? Like, it's it's really high caliber stuff. But do you think do you think the future can be that we build these micro tribes and we're able to usher in something refreshing and something that people don't even know they needed yet? Yes, I think that I I, I definitely I do. And and that's that's really what I, I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying like in this next season of my life or whatever, like kind of focus in on what the movement is exactly, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I think that there is a a responsibility to the people that that you know. Oh, man, like I get I get I get tons of messages all the time. Mm -hmm. Yo, you should be. And it's I'm not. It's not about fame. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not about fame or cloud or numbers. Mm -hmm. But I just think it's ironic when people are like, yo, you should be way bigger than whoever, but you don't want to buy an album. Mm. Well, Here's, well, yo, you would buy his album. So yo, am, am yeah, I? or you would run those numbers up. And here's, okay, so here's something practical, guys. Okay, so just real, 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 real basic. What Sean is saying is that content is queen, that the, that the, I mean, content is king, marketing is queen, right? The marketing of this stuff is going to help elevate stuff to the top. You guys supporting it and getting behind it with your dollars, what that does is not only does it allow a young man like John Keith to get married and start his life, but it also positions him to pay people to help him create more marketing materials, yeah. right? If, if he's now in a position where all of his bills are paid and he can live comfortably, now we can say, okay, you got Adrian's little brother who's shooting videos for you now. You can get your back on YouTube, creating visuals on which your YouTube channel is super popping. I'll link that below. Have these 
opportunities to seize these moments but it does require less people being willing to contribute more so that a john keith can have the 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 the, the team around him to make more ig reel videos mm -hmm. to put more money behind instagram and facebook ads to make more youtube videos a lot of this stuff takes resources guys and like i'm in a spot where like guys i'm going live but i'm going live because i was able i had the luxury and a privilege to buy ten thousand dollars worth of equipment if you guys and, could see this right now it looks really it looks pretty dope right so what and, and guess how that happened that happened because 250 of you guys signed up for the patreon and we have money to do this stuff right and that that's how this stuff works so i don't mean to be like a financial burden or anything like that i'm just saying hey y'all taking that extra step as consumers to go to extra mile and support somebody you can really help level up somebody and this is why i do believe that you're gonna see guys like nick d level up you're, the, you're, you're gonna see guys like toby wigway toby. level up uh sean said understanding culture and trends malcolm moore early days did a sick song about seattle then about the mariners and it got a lot of press later the lgbtq song uh point being yeah no that's a great point great.